Hi guys, welcome to Anworth Old Kirk in Dumfries and Galloway, Scotland. Oop, it's a tight squeeze. Look at this place. I think this one's going to speak for itself, isn't it? What's this one? And then, Widow of Colonel Stewart, 1931. Yes, that is a mausoleum next to the church, nearly as big. And with Old Kirk, Samuel Rutherford, minister from 1627 to 1638. It says it there, look, 1627. I think these must have been added after the church was in ruin because um, this would have been where the altar is. Some like coats of arms and most of it's in Latin. Oh wow, look at this. Memento Mori. Love finding skulls, don't we? It's awesome. Yeah, they must have been definitely added later. And this like doorway's been reused as well for a grave. Must have been a cherub at the top and then a it's like a coat of arms. Dividing wall here, so don't know what this section would have been. of that out. Someone's nicked to the uh, the metal skull and crossbones. A couple of uh, Corinthian columns. Andrew Christian McClough or McLeod. Lieutenant in the Royal Navy. So generally speaking, the higher status somebody has, the closer to the church they're buried, or inside the church is obviously better. A couple of bulls in the field there. For Agnes Hutchison and her husband. Normally see the um, husband's name at the top, don't you? Very rarely see uh, a woman's name. It's probably because women live longer, don't they? In memory of John Craig of Rusko Lodge. Directed by James Brown, Drumoclock, in memory of Mary Brown, his daughter, 1850. Drumoclock, love that word. John McClement. So there's not really any famous people buried here. Um, look at this. Actually, I'm going to go around the, yeah, I'm going to go around the other side this way, because I want to end the video walking up this way. I'm 
Oh man, what a peaceful place this is. It's almost unreal, isn't it? I want to check out this the back of this mausoleum as well, because on um, the pictures on Google it looked like I might be able to peek inside the grill at the top. size of that it's obviously a bit more it's a bit bigger in real life and what um, this building was it's not connected to the main one is it probably a mausoleum or it could be the beer house it's wide enough Barbara Gordon's spouse to Gilbert somebody 1745 wow Um, these almost look like they could be a uh, Viking or something, don't they? 1670 is that? Blimey. Samuel and Lanet Muir. So yeah, I've got no chance peeking in that grill up there, have I? Without standing on a headstone. But we'll have a look at the um, front of it. Oh, there's another skull here, look. Wow, that's in good condition. You rarely get dates on these, but they're like from the 17th century. Yeah, so this thing's a lot bigger than the pictures I've seen. There's no um, name on it, but it says rebuilt by Colonel Maxwell in 1710 and then by another Maxwell in 1878 so it's going to be the Maxwell mausoleum that's it plenty of cobwebs so I won't try the door won't be open James Nunn of the Indian Army who died at Kokripur, 1852. And there's that grill. I could get up, but I'm, um, you know me, I never mean to be disrespectful about as tall as me these gravestones what a shame if only my selfie stick was a bit longer but I guess then it'd be dark anyway so I'd need a torch on the end of it century one here. Looks like there might have been some text at some stage. Skull's funny isn't it? Oh, makes me smile anyway. Like cartoony. Sometimes it says the name on the back as well but it doesn't on that one. Another one through here look really good condition again it 
It's a shame you don't see more of those in England. I have seen a couple, but um, they've either been destroyed or weren't very popular. And this is my favourite of the day. So you can see who's probably an architect. Got the Sands of Time, Skull. And I think that might be a coffin next to the crossbones. Yeah, architect or carpenter. Just notice this one down here. Would have been a maybe a mausoleum at one point. Maybe just the grave. Trees eating it up. It needs a bit of attention, doesn't it? Or it's going to collapse or maybe the body will be on display soon. Interesting nonetheless. This one as well, I have not didn't see it from the uh, top. What a shame. It wouldn't take much to fix that, would it? Don't want to spend too long under this one in case it collapses. Mason in Gatehouse in memory of his son. So maybe that's actually... Um, look at the angle of that. It was actually probably a mason in the village, or it might be a town of Gatehouse of Fleet which isn't too far from here let's carry on back through this way so where was we up to? it was near this window wasn't we? around about here maybe? Directed by John Sprout in memory of Catherine Blair, his wife who died in Gatehouse 1824, aged 77. And John's in there as well. Directed by Hugh Hamilton in memory of Gavin Hamilton, his son who died in Newton. 26th of February 1851, aged 11, and his wife as well, and other children down there. Wow, it's a long list. Oh, what's this on the back? Also, Mary Craig McConnell, widow of LA Consul, is that? Died at Baker, Montana, USA, aged 73 years. Ooh, so maybe that's a. Uh, a long lost relative. Sometimes they um, reuse graves like that and put the newer ones on the back. Don't really agree with it. Big crack in that one. Well, I think that's pretty much it. It's one last look down the aisle of the church. I could stay here all day, but um, unfortunately, it's on to the next one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.